So we look forward to the leaves changing color this time of year, but we also need to keep our eyes peeled for an invasive species right now. Yes, we are talking about the spotted lantern fly. It's one of Michigan's least wanted, and they're not a threat to people, but they are harmful to our gardens, our parks, and farms. Stories on the spotted lantern fly are the most clicked on on our website, so we asked our Shantae Passmore to take a deeper dive into what's <sighs> being done to track it. Shantae, tell us more. Yeah. Hey, Karen DeMond, it's a problem. We've been wanting to take you inside on what's being done to curb the spread. And unfortunately, the Riverwalk here tonight where I'm standing, it is one of the latest sightings for a report of a spotted lantern fly. And tonight we're showing what you need to do when you see one. Meet Michigan's least wanted. Along the eastern seaboard, you can see the spotted lanternflies covering plants and trees before heading to the heartland. The invasive species is now mainstream. I'm a spotted lanternfly. I don't care what experts say. I'm going to eat your craw. Well, that's not what they do. But they're a nuisance, says entomologist Lindsay Patrick. So is it possible to eradicate the spotted lanternfly? Eradication is really difficult because of the number of host plants that it feeds on. And we're really working on the goal of reducing their populations. Patrick is an invasive species coordinator for the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. We met in Pontiac at the first site where spotted lanternflies were discovered in the state. They're now detected in Oakland, Monroe, and Wayne counties. The spotted wings with peaks of red look pretty, yet don't be deceived. Spotted lantern flies feed off more than 70 types of plants and trees. Their favorite, a tree of heaven, also an invasive species. The excretion of the sugary substance produces sooty mold, a fungus stressing the host because it can't photosynthesize. It also tracks flies, wasps, and yellow jackets. When they feed off grapevines, they've been known to kill the vine. So what are the traps for? The traps are for monitoring. So this trap here on the tree is catching any spotted lantern fly that are crawling up the bark here. This is a good way for us to monitor what the population is doing. Patrick explains this is a trap tree, meaning it's treated with insecticide. The spotted lanternfly's lifespan is short. Egg masses hatch around late spring, early summer. The fall is when they lay their egg masses before dying during the first cold snap. So how are they spreading if they don't fly well? So they are hitchhiking. They're being moved by people mainly. They lay their egg masses on any smooth surface, like cars, trees, building materials, even chairs. It's why there's the See It, Squish It, Report It campaign. Just don't forget to snap a photo before the squish. Then send it in with a report to the Michigan's DNR's Eyes in the Field portal. And the squish may come more easily for others than some. All right, all you gotta do, guys, besides muster the strength to do this, is grab them. Whoa, whoa. This is the part. Stomp them. All in the name of preserving Michigan's wonders and beauty in nature. That was so hard to do. We did that a few times, actually. So, okay, the takeaway, it's safe to say, when you see a tree of heaven, you'll probably more than likely see a spotted lantern fly, but detection is key. Sometimes people mistake them for other trees, like this one to my right here, which is a sumac. I almost got confused a little bit earlier. But when you look at a tree of heaven, all you have to do is look at the base of the leaf here, and you'll see that there's a notch down below. And when you break it in half, I know it's weird, you gotta smell it. And no, it doesn't smell like grass. It's more of like a foul, funky odor. I think a couple of weeks ago, it smelled more like rotten peanut butter. But this one, not as pungent, but still pretty stinky. Reporting live, Shantae Passmore, Local 4. Shantae, I, I have a whole new respect for you. I mean, I just... Look, I think she's talking about the See It Squish It campaign. I've seen people dodging them, so it's like dodging and bobbing and weaving them. I've seen them in Baltimore a week and a half ago I was home, and uh, they're everywhere. Yeah. Shantae, we appreciate it. We're going to put more also on Click on Detroit.com uh, on your story. I know that everyone keeps yeah. clicking on it, but it's really interesting. I didn't yeah. mean to cut you off. Oh, no, you're good. To you're good. Let, let her get back out of the wilderness she there. She sacrificed her boots as well. Exactly. <laughs>